our candidate so forum is the oh, only okay. way that everybody has to change on their personal account. Yeah, we'll I've seen it. It's Surrey to Asian Go on, speeding the order of the Board of Franklin oh. County Commissioners. thought about that. Wednesday, September 21st, 2022, that's 8.30. Roll call. Commissioner Saldemeyer? Present. Commissioner Harris? Present. Chair Dunn? Present. Vice Chair Dickinson? Present. Commissioner Weimar? Yes. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the invocation. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please come up. <laughs> for allowing me to come, my name is Benita Bowman, and I'm from Hope Anthem Church. Um, I kind of was starting to think about, you know, what I would share today. Pastor Jared said, keep it brief, keep it short. They're busy. They've got a lot to do. Um, and I began to think about the Bad Astra race that is going to be um, happening in Ottawa this Sunday or this Saturday, and I'm, I'm sure most of you are aware of that. But last year was their first year. It grew. This year, I believe they have about 150 or so um, cyclists registered for this race. Um, they can ride for 50 miles and try to get a prize, or they can ride for 100 miles and try to get a prize. And obviously, if you're going to get on a bike and ride for 100 miles, there's some training and stuff that has to take place beforehand. You know, I'm sure they train in all kinds of weather. They have to keep their eye on the prize. They can't give up. And I thought that's a lot like our walk with Jesus. You know, there's times where we're tempted to give up, um, it might get tough, it might get hard, but if we keep our eye on the prize, then we get eternal life with Jesus. So I would like to share a scripture with you. In James 1.12, it said, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. So I just want to encourage all of us just to keep our eye on the prize, to keep our eye on Jesus this morning. So with that, we will pray. God, I just thank you for this day. God, I lift your name high because you are worthy to be praised. Lord, I thank you for each one of these city commissioners, God, that have taken time, Lord, to serve their community, and I ask that you bless them, Lord. I ask that you just fill them with your divine wisdom, that you continue to give our community favor. God, I ask that you watch over not only Ottawa, but the entire Franklin County, God. I ask that you just keep the first responders safe. Lord, I ask that you watch over our schools, our government, and God, that you just truly bless our area with your divine favor. And Lord, we just thank you for this day. Um, we thank you for the opportunity to live another day for you, God. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you got uh, Derek's under the weather today, so we'll keep on going. Any public comments? Okay, on the consent agenda, we have uh, claim vouchers in the amount of $864,961.82 and special claim vouchers of $11,700. Meeting minutes for September 14th and study session minutes for September 19th. Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Mr. Saldemeyer? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dickinson? Yes. Commissioner Waymeyer? Yes. Chair Dunn? Yes. Okay, Kenny, come on up and take over the meeting. We've got some issues here. <coughs> Good morning. Uh, so we have, I think, three items on the agenda today for the Planning Commission. Uh, the first one is a rezoning request for uh, Brady, which is to rezone approximately 13.6 acres from the A1 Agriculture District to the RE Residential Estate District. Uh, this property is located on Iowa, uh, south of Old 56 Highway. Uh, it is located within the building corridor on our comprehensive plan. 
Um, and, and I would also note that there are some adjacent tracks uh, to the north of this property that are already zoned RE. So this is uh, more of an expansion of an existing dis uh, district that's already there. Uh, the Planning Commission held a public hearing on this request and uh, by unanimous vote, the Planning Commission recommended approval of the request. Uh, and, and I would uh, recommend the um, Board of County Commissioners um, approve the request. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Any questions? Okay. Okay, a positive motion for you. I make a motion to approve rezoning application number 2204-1959, Brady, to rezone approximately 13.646 acres from an A1 agriculture district to an RE residential estate district and to amend the official county zoning map accordingly. Motion approved. Second. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dickinson? Yes. Commissioner Waymeyer? Yes. Commissioner Sotomayor? Yes. Chair Dunn? Yes. Okay. Um, the second item that we have is for a grant of easement for uh, Shandon and Alyssa Smith and also David Parks. Uh, the board has already approved a rezoning request on this one a, a while back. Uh, and, and we've just sort of been waiting for the final survey to come in. So we have legal descriptions uh, to place on the grant of easement. So um, we have that now. Um, basically, this would be granting a 35-foot easement uh, for additional right-of-way on uh, adjacent to the roadways uh, next to these two lots that were created as part of the um, lot split uh, that's there. Uh, once the uh, grant of easement is... Um, accepted by the Board of County Commissioners, then I can uh, sign off on the, the lot split survey to uh, actually allow the, the split to occur. Um, uh, I'd be, again, happy to answer any questions that you might have. Is a 35-foot the standard? 35-foot uh... um, is the standard um, width that we would require on a local road. Um, so if it was an arterial or collector road, road then we would request additional um, right-of-way. And, and one thing I've been telling people um, with the changes and the setbacks that we recently did, um, our setbacks are now um, sort of measured from this distance whether we have the grant of easement or not. So at this point, the grant of easement doesn't really, it, it provides us more ability if we need to go in and do some maintenance and um, ditch work and, and those types of things. Um, but doesn't really affect where they can build structures on the property. So, I know, uh, like uh, Evergy, you require so much footage before they they will uh, put in a new line. And yep. I don't know if this met their requirement or not. Um, this would allow for additional area for utilities to go to. Um, so as part of this grant of easements, not necessarily just for you know our right of way, but any public utility would also be able to uh, to go into that area. So um, it is a little, um, you know, as we're slowly getting additional grants of easement, it's it's a little awkward because um, you know you go right north of here and it's gonna go back to the old right of way width. Um, so it sort of jogs back and forth, but but definitely it helps us in the long term uh, for if we ever do have a road project, we we won't have to acquire as much right of way as what we would have um, if we didn't do this. So yeah, the question we talked about this. So. While back, uh, positive uh, motion to be. I make a motion to accept the grant of public road and utility easements for from Sheldon and Alyssa Smith and David Parks, man manager, registered agent for the Parks Farm LLC. We have a motion to approve or disapprove. First approve. Second. Yeah. Commissioner Dickinson? Yes. Commissioner Waymeyer? Yes. Commissioner Sotomayor? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Chair Dunn? Yes. Thanks, sir. 
Okay. So the, the final item that uh, we have, um, I have had a, a couple individuals that have approached uh, me in regards to interest in serving. Uh, both of them were interested in serving on the Planning Commission. Um, the, the first one that's in my staff report um, is um, in regards to um, 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 uh, Mr. Lewis Reed, which I believe um, most of you guys are, are probably already familiar with. Um, we uh, recently went through a rezoning request. He's a sexton for uh, Greenwood Cemetery. Uh, so he was sort of working with me and expressed that he was sort of interested in the possibility of serving depending on, on what happened in the election. And so um, now he's a little bit more available um, now that that's passed um, and, and was um, definitely interested in uh, looking at a way for, to serve the community. Um, as I know, uh, we have been uh, shy of a number of planning commissioners for a little while, so this would uh, get the planning commission back up to uh, where we're only down by uh, one person. Actually, um, we've been down just by one. Uh, Mr. Wilkins just went off the planning commission this last meeting as he finished his second term. Um, so we'll, we'll sort of stay where, where we've been at for a little while. Um, the um, other individual that had expressed, um, oh, I guess I uh, would mention, um, in talking with Mr. Reed, he ended up having another appointment that came up this morning. Um, he had um, hoped to be here, but um, wasn't able to, to be here. So um, um, definitely if you um, have any questions, I'm, we can always try to um, bring him back if, if you would desire to. Uh, the other individual, uh, that asked about interest in the planning commission was Mr. Costco. Um, he is here in the audience. Um, and if you guys have any questions or just want to uh, get to know him a little bit more, I'm sure he could uh, tell you a little bit about himself. Um, what I um, suggested to Mr. Costco and what I would recommend, um, uh, Mr. Costco does currently live uh, within the city of Ottawa. Um, our regulations do allow for us to appoint uh, multiple people uh, to the Planning Commission that, that all reside within city limits. Um, but we already currently have two individuals that live within the City of Ottawa on the Planning Commission. Uh, so uh, we also have some spots that are currently vacant on the Board of Zoning Appeals. Uh, and so my recommendation has been to uh, appoint him to the Board of Zoning Appeals uh, just so that we have a little bit more um, wider variety of uh, where people reside. Um, and, and I uh, would also note that I um, have been in discussions with another individual that has expressed um, interest on in the Planning Commission. I just haven't uh, received any official letter um, stating that they're um, ready to start serving. So I'm, I'm hoping that we'll have another one come back here before too long. But um, I would definitely recommend uh, Mr. Reed and Mr. Costco um, to uh, be appointed to the, the Planning Commission and then also to, uh, to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Um, and again, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Do you know what district Mr. Reed lives in? Or just um, he is over just outside Pomona. Pomona. Yeah. Okay, so he's in Rudd's? Roy's. In mine? Roy's. Roy's. Oh, Roy's. Oh, okay, okay. He, he lives just... Um, just past Judd Ranch out on 68 Highway. We, we don't ever come, have anything come before us that actually is in the city of Ottawa. Is that correct, though? Uh, yes, we don't, we don't have any, anything that comes before us. I mean, that would all go to the city yeah. um, council and city planning commission. Um, our um, bylaws for the planning commission do currently allow for, um, I think, we have to have more people that reside in the county on the planning commission that re than, than that reside in the city limits. So we could technically have up to four individuals on the planning commission um, that reside within the city <coughs> limits. Um, but my understanding is that we typically like to, if we can spread them out throughout the county is the other preference. So uh, to me, if, if he resided in another municipality, I, I think it would, that would be a little bit better. We'd get a little bit um, change um, from the areas that they serve. Um, um, granted, it, 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 it is up to the Board of County Commissioners for what you would like to do on that. So, How many, how many do you have on 
if you were full, completely full, uh, on the planning commission, how many would you have? Nine, nine people. Um, so we can so have almost two from on. every district, but like Cole's district is all in Ottawa. Half of mine's in Ottawa. Yes. So to to really represent our district, you really have to have people from Ottawa. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to think. Um, Chris um, Campbell. Campbell is one of the members that's currently um, on the planning commission that's in the city limits. And then also. Um, Mr. Harris. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, Commissioner Harris is also. Um, and, and I would note the Board of Zoning Appeals doesn't. Every, all of the members of the Board of Zoning Appeals currently reside outside city limits. So this would be the first. Mm -hmm. um, person inside the city um, appointed that to that board. So do you want, you want to go ahead and do a motion to, for Mr. Reed today uh, too? Yes, unless unless you guys have questions or concerns that you would like to, to talk with him. Um, but I would I would definitely recommend him for the Planning Commission and Mr. Costco for uh, the Board of Zoning Appeals. And then um, I, my thought with Mr. Costco was to, um, you know, if especially if we had another person go off of the planning commission in the future, especially one of those that lived inside the city limits, then, um, you know, we can always switch people between boards um, in the future, so. I would like to meet Mr. Costco. Sure. He wants to come up and say hi. <laughs> Good morning. Um, do you guys have any questions or I talk? I'd just like to know uh, why you decided to go ahead and throw, um, put well, your name in this. Ottawa, almost 20 years. Um, I'm a real estate agent at Remax Connections, and I've been doing that going on six years. Um, I just recently got my broker's license, so looking to put that to work a little bit and uh, be more active in the community. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Okay. All the motion, we uh, make a motion to appoint Lewis Reed to the Franklin County Planning Commission and Mr. Costco to the Franklin County Board of Sony and Appeals. You got it. So moved. Second. Commissioner Waymeyer? Yes. Commissioner Sotomayor? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dickinson? Yes. Chair Dunn? Thank you, Mr. Costco, for coming. <coughs> hey, Janet, we're going to consider appointing Danny, uh, I guess it's Feeling? Is that how you pronounce that? I think it's Failing, I think. Failing? Uh, yes. Ooh. So um, after the unexpected passing of Reese Lorry, um, it's um, made a vacancy on um, both the Ottawa Township Board and the trustee position and also on the um, LOH Fire Board as um, Reese was the appointee to the Fire Board from the Ottawa Township Board. Um, LOH Fire has one representative from that's appointed by um, Lincoln one by Ottawa and one by Harrison, and Reese was the representative for Lincoln. So um, the Ottawa Township Board members, the other two members, um, have been on a search for um, quite some time now. Well, pretty much immediately following um, Reese's passing, they started a search to find someone that would be interested in serving in both capacities for them um, because neither of the other two members felt like they had um, a lot of fire knowledge. They had a lot of township knowledge and were really interested in the other things the township did. Um, they um, reached out to several people in their area. Um, the fire board also was working to try to find someone and in that area also. Um, and so they have, they have settled on uh, Mr. Failing and um, so then they have submitted a, and they have visited with him and they have submitted a letter for you guys to appoint him to the Ottawa Township trustee position. Um, they intend then to appoint him to the fire board after he's appointed to the township board. And he will um, fill the remaining term um, by the trustee. 
I see the letter from uh, Don Ruffer and David Alderman mm -hmm. recommending him for that, that yeah. position. So, positive motion we make a motion to appoint Nanny Paling to uh, the trustee position on the Ottawa Township Board. Motion to approve. Second. Commissioner Sotomayor? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dickinson? Yes. Commissioner Waymeyer? Yes. Chair Dunn? Yes. Next one is uh, Richmond Consolidated Fire District Board. Yes, so um, Richmond is going through some changes. They um, are trying to build a new fire district, um, a new fire building um, for the district. And um, so with the changes, um, some, some members um, decided that they no longer wanted to serve in um, their capacity on the fire board. So they did have two members resign recently from the board. Um, that still leaves three members on their board so that they do still have a quorum to have meetings. But um, we do have one person who has expressed interest in serving on that board, Matt Batchelor. And he has submitted a letter of recommendation um, asking to be appointed to the fire board. Question to Janet on this. All is a motion. We make a motion to appoint Matt Batchelor to the Richmond Consolidated Fire District Board. I move. Second. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Dickinson? Yes. Commissioner Waymeyer? Yes. Commissioner Stottlemyre? Yes. Chair Dunn? Yes. That concludes our regular business. Uh, staff reports. Can you have any, anything else? I'll swear him in right after the meeting. Yep. Yep. Kyle, do you have anything from the Sheriff's Department? Dustin from mm -hmm. IT? Mm -hmm. Janet, do you have anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I do have something for you guys today. Um, yesterday, um, my office staff and I sat down and um, really set out our schedule for the upcoming general election, um, set out our early voting dates so we could get those out to the public so that they could know when we would be doing our early voting at the courthouse. Um, but the one thing that I wanted to get with you guys on is when you would like to hold the canvas. Um, Monday that we did it, this last primary election was very ambitious for us and we don't intend to do that again. So we're going to give ourselves a couple more days. Um, so we were between um, November 16th, which is the Wednesday, of, um, oh, a week and a day after the election. And that would be a regular meeting date for you guys so we could hold the canvas immediately following this meeting. We could just move down to the courthouse and convene the meeting there at the courthouse immediately following this meeting. Or we could do it on November 17th, which is, a thir is the Thursday following your Wednesday meeting, and just start at 9 in the morning. But I just wanted some feedback from you guys when you wanted to do it. I, I mean, I know um, some of you have other things that you're doing, so maybe doing it all in one day seemed um, better. For some, and uh, but if you, I, we have no idea what a meeting would look like on Wednesday this far out. So, you know, if we if we went to ten or ten thirty, then we're starting the canvas, you know, at that time. So, I, I would take any suggestions from you guys. Well, Wednesday be fine with me. What day? Wednesday be good with me. I got something at the dentist appointment at three fifteen. I'd like to get to. Okay. Either works for me. Same day be fine with me. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. The way it went last time fairly quickly. So Wednesday be fine with me. Okay. Okay. We'll set it for okay. Wednesday the sixteenth immediately following this meeting. Okay. okay. I think that's all. Uh, commissioner's report. Uh, you got anything, Don? <laughs> I had had a meeting, but uh might give everybody a heads up. Uh if you're interested, October the fourth, which is a Tuesday. Uh, 9 o'clock in the morning in this room, uh, our c &E meeting. The main reason I'm not doing it because our c &E meeting is we'll have our solid, Lake Region Solid Waste Authority Coordinator will be here to give, you guys don't get to meet with Shay very often, and she'll be giving a total update of everything that's going on, and we're likely to be making some changes here before too long. We'll have to come back to the county on part of it. 
Uh, we talked about making her job a full-time position, but to do it, we had to find other funds to do that. And about like two years ago, we had Woodson County and Allen County approach us about joining the Solid Waste Authority, which make, would make us an A County. And uh, at that time, we decided that what we wanted to do. But since we put Shay on about a little over a year ago, <coughs> she's made the job a lot bigger job. She's had a lot of grants and a lot of work <coughs> and just pursuing a lot more things. And uh, we did lose her job there. I don't know, three or four months ago, we took it from about 24 hours. And then she approached us about making it full time. And we decided we couldn't do that at this time. But we called Venus and Coffee County and went back to Wilson and Allen. And then for the summer meeting, we'll discuss what we think we'll come on and maybe closer down to the Queens, Queens, and we're counted. And uh, put that. If you have any questions, please read the book. You'll be in the next meeting. And she'll probably speak. She won't speak a lot on that subject because the board is not going to be able to do that. I just want to get all the ideas and all the experiences that we've had. And we're starting to come in and we're starting to come in. It's something, like I said, we have a lot of stuff going on with all the people. It's just that for the folks that have it on board with it, and the president is pushing that to go back. So, thank you for your time. That was the meeting of the last meeting. He's going to be the president. I'm going to be the president. He doesn't. We talked about it at the time, and she decided to apply for it. And uh, David, he had to come up with some kind of way to say, What do we do? He started this excellent program and a big amount, like Jim Franklin did, and he was back in town, talked to him, and he got the answer. Right now, if you don't have any graduate school college credit, everything is possible. I mean, that's the problem. And it's probably the end of the day. Just so you can know what's going on. But the bus is all done. So it's just a matter of picking, picking up the donate. Donate. Some of the bigger ones and that so it's something it's something else that's how you do it you put it in a program it's kind of a line of work that you can do I can help you well I can say it's just a week yet all right and they're not going to provide you with any they're not going to keep it up in there too just like everything else you have to Okay. Do anything, Colton? No, nothing I need to add, right? Okay. Not yet. I have. Um, as I went to the chamber copy uh, on Friday for Dream Vacations, uh, which is Kristen Randall and Advanced Investments, which is Joe Randall. Um, Roy actually spoke for the county, but it's kind of nice. He he helps people make money, and then she helps people spend it, so it kind of works out good. Um, the We had a meeting, a Zoom meeting of our 4th District Judicial District Nominating Committee. We were supposed to meet yesterday to do interviews, but one more, one more time we've decided to open uh, back up the 
application period because we were, we were down to one um, person that put their name in. So we're going to open it up one more time. Uh, it is in Coffee County, so you have to live in Coffee County, and you do not have to be a lawyer. Um, but if anybody is interested in that, um, they can get hold of. I think the clerk's office probably has information. Um, I just wanted to mention the car show. Um, you know, you just see all those people down there and people that are all doing what they're supposed to do. And I saw a lot of law enforcement presence, um, sheriff, EMS from our, from our organization. But it, it's just great to see that many people all getting together and having a good time um, together. And I didn't hear of any incidents, so that's awesome. And the weather held off which is even better, so that's very cool. Uh, and then the last thing is, if you think COVID's over, ask OU. They had, um, I believe, around 50 COVID cases at the beginning of the school year. So it's still there. So it's, it's not over. Um, so if you are thinking about, I'm, I'm heading from here to get my another booster shot. So um, but they are available now with the ones with the Omicron. And also get your flu shot. So that's all I have to say. That's it. That's it. Okay. Well, I got quite a bit. How to start out uh, Gravels, retirement, Friday, right here in the chamber from 2 to uh, two to 4 o'clock, right here in the chamber. I was talking to the chip and seal inspector yesterday because it was out my way and they they're finished they finished up the chip and seal project yesterday and uh, now they're looking to do the striping after the you know a few days of uh, back back in the, the hay dye, basically the material down so the chip and seal made it before fall since this is the last day of summer today. So they made it before fall this year, so that's a good thing. Uh, had a couple FDC meetings. Uh, first meeting was the, the full board on the 15th of September and approved the budget, 2023 20, budget of $195,000 approximately. And, uh, a couple things they talked about was the health, health insurance for... Um, Basic small bean, one with the Chamber of Commerce uh, program with the uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield. So uh, they're working for good health insurance for that, that group. Uh, Paul mentioned the uh, annual meeting, whether it be a banquet. And he's basically looking for just a luncheon where um, give out the, the awards they do for the FCDC. And, uh, Casey Lyle is going to be the president of FCDC next next year, so he's going to be Casey Lyle is now working with uh, Porter Spears Insurance Company, was up there at the bank in Wellsville, and they're looking at maybe changing the meeting from seven thirty to eight o'clock. So anyway, that was uh, FCDC meeting. Then last Friday, uh, Ann and I went to a meeting with uh, two representatives of the school board and uh, the superintendent and uh, city manager and the mayor. Uh, we met at uh, 290 to discuss, uh, uh, basically we're talking about Proximity Park and how to how to market it and do a better job marketing it. And one thing we did do is uh, uh, lower the basic cost to $25,000 an acre and also give uh, all kind of leeway in doing uh, other possible incentives to get somebody in, the, in that park. So we had a pretty good discussion. I am out add a little bit to that. Uh, we had a good discussion and got everything out in the open and said, how, how do we got to get somebody in the proximity park? What do we need to give? And, and who are we competing with? And, and we're just trying to see uh, what we really need to do to get somebody in that uh, there. So 
I was in a meeting last last Friday with a over at the school board meeting. Had a meeting with ECAL last night and basically we approved the audit. Uh, that was the main thing uh, for that. Uh, you, you want to say anything about last Friday? No, I, I think we did. Yeah. I think everybody's on the same page now. Um, and I think, you know, we all decided if it was the right company, we would <clears throat> we'd be all in, you know, to get the right person out there or the right company out there. Then last, this is last month, we had the Board of Health meeting with uh, Sam Harris and uh, Brenda Bismar, our, our health director and assistant directors, and um, went over to the Board of Health on what they're doing and how, how their program is going. and. and uh, how they're helping the community uh, uh, with with their projects, and they do have the new vaccine combinations with uh, Pfizer that has a basic COVID and, and plus Omicron variants in that vaccine, <laughs> and also you can get your flu shots too at the same time. And that's all I have. If anybody has anything else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. We're adjourned for today.